Good evening, uh, good evening everybody. Uh, my name is uh, David Sampson, uh, professor of music here and chair of the music department. Uh, I wanted to welcome you to tonight's concert featuring our uh, Chestnut Hill College Jazz Ensemble and our Chestnut Hill Winds. Uh, hope you enjoy tonight's concert. Uh, so I'm going to stop talking now that I know uh, you can hear your music instead. So this is uh, Mr. Bob Kamada and Chestnut Hill Jazz Ensemble.
college jazz ensemble should endeavor to learn American standards. Because in essence, that's what jazz is all about, uh, creating a melody in place of what the original melody was. But in order to do that, you need to know what the original melody was, uh, which is why we're going to play this arrangement the way we're going to play it. Uh, back in the day of Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie and all of the other birth of bebop sort of things, um, space on the 78 RPM record was extremely limited. So it was common practice for jazz musicians to just simply start improvising and not even play the original melody. First of all, there wasn't enough space in the record. And second of all, it kind of wasn't necessary because the audience already knew what they were listening to based on the chord changes that went with the recording. But uh, we don't have that luxury anymore, and we do have the space, so we will play the original melody, and then we will do our solos. Okay?
coaching. I've heard it does not the coaching. So we decided to do it both ways. So we're going to play night and day, down and up. And just in case you're wondering what we're reading up here for jazz music, we have this extremely complicated arrangement of one page. So I guess in true jazz musicians uh, 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 style, you really aren't reading anything. It's just a book. We're really not reading anything at all. In true, tr tr in true jazz tradition, we're trying to make this as head arrangement as possible. All right, so here we go. Night and day, down.
Gillespie, this is a blues tune that they used to like to play in New York live on air with uh, a disc jockey's name, the Symphony Sid. But mm. uh, the title of the tune is Blue and Boogie. Now, notice it's not blue and boogie. Okay, this is jazz. We don't use proper English here. It's blue and boogie. Got it? Okay, here we go. Blue and boogie. Uh, 
Um, to Kelly is, uh, Frank Kelly is a, a composer of a lot of band works, a lot of wind ensemble works. And uh, he actually composed this piece and a partner piece called Joy Revisited. Uh, Joy was kind of uh, designed as a, a piece for a smaller ensemble. And then he took the exact same piece and then reconfigured it for a larger ensemble um, uh, called Joy Revisited. So this is Joy. We have a little bit smaller instrumentation, but you still get kind of the same feel that you would have from both of those pieces. So I hope you enjoy. <coughs>
I, uh, Robert Jagger, uh, he actually composed this, uh, this was commissioned by the Buxmont Honors Band in um, Quakertown for their uh, 20th anniversary of their Honor Festival. So again, very much a, a Pennsylvania and then really more our area uh, connection. This is entitled Three Scenes from Penn's Woods.
students have worked extremely hard to, uh, uh, to get to this performance as well as our jazz ensemble uh, that you heard earlier tonight. So I just wanted to thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank the ensembles for the great work that they're doing. Um, I'm not a perfect person, although I try to be. Um, normally in the program, on, in the spring program, I will include a note about those students who are graduating seniors. Well, we have actually have someone in our ensemble that is graduating this semester. We don't usually have that, but we do. And so I did note her in the, in the program, an oversight on my part. Again, I'm not perfect. But I do want to recognize Kathy Ballancourt in our food section. She's graduating this semester. So Thank you. 